Shockwave 36 is about to be underway in Tucson, Arizona. As the machine Brian Cage, the Wolverine, makes his way down to the ring first here on Shockwave. I know there's no way in hell Benny wasted the time showing up a shockwave. But considering the situation there's Brian Cage is about to go head to head with SCU, Christopher Daniel kind of uh sure kind of pulls some strings and uh Ben's uh mind there and it kind of ticks him off, it kind of makes him a little angry, I guess you could say. Kind of draws some interest in there from Ben, so. If you want to be a hero, we're going to There will be a ringside as the Swolverine goes head to head with Christopher Daniels here of SCU, SoCal and Centered. Uh, one of the uh, former Sears champion here in the UWA. Now, of course, the belt held by the end of the Speed Era. Next shockwave will be 37. And that is going to be a huge shockwave. As the leader of the Law Boys, Christian Reed collides with the leader of the Speed Era, Adam Cole Payday. Your current trios champ and the combo champ. We are the best. 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 We are match here, bringing up some uh, all the first feelings here between Cage and uh, Banner Force and SCU. Now the machine about to go head to head with Christopher Daniels here. Of course the rest of SCU and Bennett ringside and these two gonna lock up and the machine just shows Christopher Daniels back. Uh, CD better be careful, he connects him with a forearm there. That's smart there from CD. And oh god, the freaking knee drop brain buster there early on. Shades of Adam Cole, baby. They're from Christopher Daniels, and Daniels looking to follow up, and Cage just clobbers him out to the floor there. The machine is not playing around here. He's a freaking machine, Christopher Daniels. And now Ben trying to get up in the face of Cage. I wouldn't advise that. He's not your client anymore, you idiot. All right, a shot to the stomach there from Christopher Daniels. Not happening. Cage clobbers him with a clothesline. This guy is a freaking machine, man. And the butterfly hook, oh, went in the Christopher Daniels. Oh my God, and Cage's legs just got caught in the freaking barricade there. That's gonna pay an advantage there for Christopher Daniels as Cage might have an injured limb at this point. It's a lot worse when it's a leg than your arm, man. It'd be hard for him to walk even at this point. And Christopher Daniels is taking advantage of that. He's got Cage up top here, and Cage just gets tossed off the top. And this is gonna go downhill real quick here for Cage. Now since he got his leg caught in that damn barricade, that looked brutal. He could have twisted his ankle there. Be honest, he probably did. Now Christopher Daniels is just continuing to take advantage of that. On a hurt cage here, but cage still kicks out, powers out at one. He's a freaking machine. It's gonna take more than that to put down the machine and cage with some interesting offense there from the machine called cage. Now Cage dragging him up to the center of the ring here. Oh God, Daniels is in trouble now. He's angered the machine as Cage just tosses him into the buckles. Now CD able to counter there. Christopher Daniels gonna use that technical advantage that he has over the machine, but Cage just lifting him up. And now just, Jesus, the power from the machine called Cage. And what the hell is Cage doing? Oh God, right into a torture rack here from the machine. And you do not mess with someone named Cage. Christopher Daniels able to fight it, lands on his feet, the CD. 
Now, no, that was a bad decision there. And now an exploder suplex from Cage. Cage is continuing to build offense here. Oh, now CD with a nice Samoan drop. Frankie now getting fired up here for his tag team partner, Christopher Daniels. Now CD looking to take out the arms of the machine, man. You have to do more than that, though, to take out Cage's arms. Have you seen those freaking biceps? Now Christopher Daniels, CD looking to follow up. Cage has other plans. Now the machine tornado claw from the machine called Cage, and he is calling for the kill. There. Well, that might have been the kill, to be honest. Two, and Christopher Daniels snaps three to two. And he took his freaking head off, though, with that tornado claw. Now Cage could be looking to finish it, but Christopher Daniels with a rake to the eyes. CD, and now a clothesline of his own from Christopher Daniels. I don't even think it has affected Cage, though. His cage is right back up. That damn, he's a freaking machine. And now he's looking at, boy, CD overpowers Cage. Got to be that bad ankle coming into play there. Oh, no, now Christopher Daniels is targeting the bad leg of Cage. That is smart there. Veteran tactic from CD right into Koji Clutch here. Koji Clutch is locked in. Cage can be forced to submit here. An injured Cage right now is in a vulnerable position. And he's passed out to Christopher Daniels, Koji Clutch. CD sneaking away with a victory there. Attacking that injured leg of Cage and that pay dividend. There's a Christopher Daniels. He was able to make Brian Cage tap out there with the Koji Clutch. What a magic that was, though. Cage completely annihilated Christopher Daniels, especially given the freaking condition he was in. He got them legs up top the barricade. He might want to get a medic out here for Brian Cage, because that did not look pretty at all. And then CD was able to talk to the eyes right there, pumping with the Koji Clutch. And Cage, man, he was in a bad position, and Mars was out of position. He didn't make the call that he tapped out. Yes, he caught it right there. You see Cage tapping out. I'm not able to punish me, especially the condition of Dan Rager's in. No damn well, Cole could probably be back for more, though. He's, he's got to get better at this point. The worst single victory for CD. I've ever been in. And if I hear another.